Hello everybody, how are you? Playing with Hocus Pocus by ColourPop, Gather Round Sisters as just a beautiful fall eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna do three looks with this one palette. I'm gonna do kind of what I used to do, which is speed jet, play some music while I apply the shadows. I'll point them out as I go, but I've done a lot of videos recently where I've done a lot of babbling, and so I kind of wanted to just try on some different looks and go back to go back to the old way just for just for once you guys have to let me know do you guys like it when I talk you through the videos or do you prefer it when I play some music and speed up and just kind of point and paint it is full-on fall where I live and I'm feeling like we need a fire in the fireplace and we need to start throwing things in a crock pot have you guys switched from like the slow cooker type crock pots to the instant pots I've got things that I prefer to make in both of them but man it should just make your life easy when you can just throw something together and walk away from it and it makes the house smell good. You guys aren't here talking about food. You guys are not interested in what I'm making for dinner. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the video. So got my first look done and I'm actually really pleased with it. So I, again, I'm using this Gather Round Sisters relatively new Hocus Pocus collaboration with ColourPop and it's typical ColourPop quality. I used five out of the 15 shadows. So I'm a third of the way through the palette. Here's my thoughts on this palette so far. This I love for fall. You've got some cooler tones. You've got a couple warmer tones. You don't have an orange, but you do have some greens and you have some purples and you've got some kind of rose colors and some cool tone taupes. I mean, you really do have everything if you don't want an orange pumpkin palette. I think this is probably a color story that maybe we've seen something similar. If you were one of the, the lucky ones to actually get this when it came out the first time around, congratulations, I think you'll enjoy it. If you didn't, do I think you need to beat yourself up because you didn't get it? No, not at all. If you picked it up and you're curious to see if, you know, a lady of a certain age who's not a makeup artist can get several looks from it, stick around. I'm gonna take this off, I've got two more looks. We'll be right back. number two and I love this kind of like smoky warm cozy we've got a couple different shades of green we've got this green in here that is called Yabos this color has this beautiful like gold shift to it I I just love this and then I did use I started off using the darker shade the darker green in here called bewitched as uh, a liner and then I'm like you know what I kind of want to just bring it up and smoke it out and go overboard you know because that's that's what we do sometimes. But this particular look, I think I used three, four, four different shadows. I didn't, I mean, it was super easy. I think blended well. I think the colors are complimentary. I just am thrilled. I do really want to use this bronzy kind of glitter in here. Is it a super shock? I don't think it's a super shock. Maybe. I don't know. It's really pretty. It's called Brew Potion. 
and I really want to use that, but I got to be honest, I'm a little nervous the glitter in it, which is not like super glittery, but I'm worried that the glitter particles in here might be a little bit bigger. I don't know enough about the formula to know if I'm going to have it all over my face. Maybe I'll use it later on and then I'll let you know if this is when I'm one of those that you're just covered in glitter magic fairy dust when you're when you're done with it. I have so many options in here that I can see easily using for work, for daytime, so many date night options. There's still six or seven shades in here that I haven't used yet. I don't know that I can incorporate all of them into a single look, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to see what I can come up with the rest of these because I, I just think it's a really fun palette. I know that there's gonna be a ton of other people that have already done reviews by the time, you know, mine comes out. But I thought for, for Halloween, I would throw up this and maybe not like throw up, but I would post up this video before think before Halloween, not Thanksgiving, before Halloween. Well, I mean, it'll go up before Thanksgiving too. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take this off. I'll be right back. Third and final look, and this looks similar to the last look, right? It's got a little bit more smoky. I use these kind of cooler tones here. These two and this one look very similar in the pan. They have definite reflection, like silver reflections in them, which is perfectly fine. My problem is, is that when you put this on with a finger, you get some of the glitter reflection, but then when you put it on with a brush, all that glitter goes away. And what I found is that all those sparkles were all over everywhere else. So I'm not really quite sure. They're like a weird suspended glittery type thing because I really like the idea of just a little bit of lightness, a little bit of sparkle. And I wasn't really getting it because these three colors were so similar. I did end up going into that bronzy. I don't even know if it's a super shock or not. It's the one, it's the only one that looks like maybe a super shock and tap a little bit of this over the top of my eyes and I love this look. You know what? I'm going to, let me swatch these really here because I want you to see what I'm talking about with those three shades being so similar. Okay. So we're going to start with this one, which is kind of the one that's between the lightest shade and the silver shade. This one's called Come Little Children. And again, I apologize. My swatch game is not the best in the world here. So, okay. We've got just kind of like one little swatch of that. The next one is called Kevin, best season of American Horror Story. Can you see how similar those are? And then the last one is called Goodbye Crew World. I love the names of these. My husband has never seen Hocus Pocus. Those three are the are the shades and they are so close, but I don't think you can wear them together. This is actually the fourth look that I tried. The third look that I tried, it just got too, too dark, too muddy. The way this turned out, I really like it. Like I would absolutely wear this for, for date night or for whatever else, keep everything else super neutral. I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm wearing. Uh, Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation. This is in shade light medium 14. I think I got a lighter, I, they had a sale. So I picked up two of these. One of them I think might be 10 for winter months and I'm gonna lose a little bit more color here. So I picked up that because I really wanted to try the formula and I'm so glad that I did. It's pretty lightweight. Like it's like you still see skin underneath. I also used the new, this is the Pretty Vulgar Resting resting bitch face in my boxy charm and it's a nice little face palette i actually used i believe this one to kind of contour this one as a blush and i used a little bit of the highlighter in here so i've really been enjoying that one i thought i would and then i've got the kkw lipstick this is in shade five i believe which is just a really nice neutral nothing crazy formula feels good. I've also got a Pat McGrath lab powder on skin fetish sublime perfection setting powder. And it's already got fingerprints on it, but this is in the shade light medium two. And it's one of those that has like, you know, like the, the Becca hydro, whatever it was powder that had like the netting and then the powder kind of comes up through the netting. That's what this has. In case you're at all curious, what else do I have on here? I don't know if I've used these on camera before, but this is a Garnier clear and bright. It's like a, I roller, a little metal roller, 
but I like the I like the I like the concealer. It's a little brightening without being like super heavy and cakey and weighing in on those wrinkles and crinkles. Uh, so I like this. I don't necessarily do the roller to kind of deep half or, you know, smooth the eye because frankly, it's just going to deposit too much product if you do that. But I like being able to kind of dab it on and then use, you know, like a beauty blender or whatever to tap it out. Uh, oh, speaking of which, I also have the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base on all three looks that I filmed with today. And then I use the NARS Climax Extreme. This is one that was like gift with purchase, I think when I did my NARS video. I would absolutely wear this. This is a fun palette, you guys. If you haven't picked up a fall, a fall palette yet and you can still get your hands on it, this gives you a lot to work with. I think it's super fun. And it's not a direct dupe of other palettes that I have. It just seems like kind of like the best of both worlds. So if you're avoiding like pumpkin orange, this might be a good a good fall option. And I really do like these kind of cooler tone. I don't even know what to call them because they have like that suspended silver that gives it that cool toned. I don't know. I think it's super easy to go really heavy, really fast. You know what? I kind of want to use, I didn't use this purple right here on any of these looks. I'm going to put some of this on really fast. I could just mess up the whole thing right now, just so you know. The other thing is this palette doesn't, I keep holding it upside down because I'm, I'm used to like not blinding you guys, but it does have the three Sanderson sisters and there's no mirror. So, okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of this under right here. And this purple that I'm using is called Dead Man's Toe. Gross. I guess you could use that in your cauldron of potions, right? The toe of a dead man. I have to watch the movie again to remember what the reference was, I think. Okay, the colors in here are so pigmented. My least favorite shadow probably is this one right here. It's called uh, Full Moon. When you apply it with, with a brush, you just get the kind of like matte underneath it. You don't get the shimmer and the sparkle and the prettiness that it looks in the pan. That's my. That's probably my least favorite. This bronze, I'm wearing it right now. I like it. I really love the green. Actually, all, there's, all the shimmers in here. Oh, the colors. I, I don't, I don't wish they didn't have any one of these. One thing that maybe they could have done, maybe one of these three that are so similar, maybe replacing those with kind of a, maybe more of a taupey kind of like grayish, mid-tone gray. That would have probably been good because while this is like a cool matte, almost a mauve color. You're not going to use that as a transition shade. This is your really early transition shade. This did buff out enough where I could use it as a transition shade, but those are the only tra transition shades you have in this palette of 15 shades, in my opinion, which is fine. I, I trust me. You don't need to have all different shades to do three, four, five looks. You can reuse the same shadows. In fact, you should to make it more cost effective. I love this palette. I'm so happy to have it. It's a great addition to my fall collection. It's gonna go on my vanity so I can start keep playing with it and keep using it. I'm curious if you guys picked it up or if you guys let it pass because A, you're not a Hocus Pocus fan or B, you're in ColourPop overload and there's been just too many releases and you just don't need another ColourPop palette or if you feel like the color story is very similar to one you've already had. I've seen some people do some videos on kind of comparing them to other ones and they haven't been an exact match for a Sigma palette or maybe the Midnight Masquerade palette or any of those. It was one I was super excited that I got and I like the way my eyes turned out and all three looks actually. I liked all of them. They were all looks that I would have worn. Okay you guys, enough of me babbling. I hope you guys are doing super well and yeah until my next video. Bye for now.